Hey guys, today we're gonna remove and clean the throttle body from a 2015 Chevrolet Sonic LTZ Turbo. Okay guys, one of the first things to do is to remove this electrical connection right here over the throttle body. The throttle body is uh, on the end of the intake. So here's the valve cover over here. Intake manifold up here it comes around and here is your throttle body in there and your intake hose right here attaches. So we're going to remove this electrical connection. Got to pull this white clip out first and squeeze that tab. That will remove that electrical connection. We already pulled it out and that's off. With that out of the way, next thing we need to do is remove the intake hose. We're going to remove this bolt that is a seven millimeter socket. Okay, next remove the throttle body. There are four bolts that hold it on. And I'm putting the light right on it right there. And that's a size five hex bolt. And there's four of those. You may find it helpful to get this harness out of the way so that you can access the bolts to the throttle body a little easier. So we're going to move this. We've got the throttle body loose. We just have to pull it out. Okay, as you can see, the inside of the throttle body, not too bad, but it is a little grimy, so we're hoping that this will clean up. Let's we'll use short bursts. On both sides. And we'll use a rag to uh, wipe that out. Cleans up pretty good. This flap should open, like so. Get that to open up. Clean the inside of that blade that's in there. Okay, we've got the. Uh, let's see if I can get in there a little better. Uh, got it looking pretty good on the inside there as well as the outside. So I think we're ready to reinstall. Okay, the key to reinstalling this, I'm using a uh, number five, size five uh, hex wrench here, and then uh, tightening it up with the pliers on the end because I don't have anything else. The main thing is these uh, bolts, especially the bottom left one, is a little more difficult to get to. Um, just make sure you don't drop it might be hard to find. Also between the manifold and the throttle body is a round uh, o-ring gasket that fits within the intake itself. Uh, just be sure that you know it doesn't fall out or get pinched or anything like that. Mine stayed in place so it was no problem. So uh, you can get a little better look there. There's some light on it. Sorry uh, for the quality of the images. Uh, doing this by myself with a light on my head and uh, not always the easiest thing to do. Anyway, it's going back on, throttle body's clean. Let me tighten these bolts up and then I'll get back. Got the throttle body reinstalled. There. Now we're going to put the uh, intake tube back on and reconnect uh, this electrical connection here and the one we disconnected here so we would have more room. And uh, that's it. Okay, we've got the intake tube back on, tightening that screw, which is pretty easy. This electrical connection goes right here and then the other one to the left of the intake manifold right here there there's that plug right there okay that's all there is to it you just need to remove the four bolts to the throttle body one to the intake hose and there's two electrical connections and that'll allow you to uh, remove the throttle body okay, that's all there is to it i uh, hope you found it helpful if so appreciate a thumbs up uh, subscribe. We've got a little repairs and uh, projects going all the time. So uh, in the future, if you need to remove your throttle body from your Chevy Sonic and clean it, it's not that hard to do. You can do it. Thanks.